Sovin Tiwari, one of the faculty members of DG School. Due to COVID-19, we are unable to conduct our regular classes. That's why we prepared this video to connect you with your story. Dear students, in this video, I want to facilitate you to boost up your knowledge about order fear and cardiac product. Students, this video is especially beneficial for those students who are studying in grade 9. Okay, students, without killing any time, now let's enter in the topics. And to your order fear. Before clear the concept of order fear, I want to make one letter from number line. Can see here to set x and y. Now write the elements of set x and y. Elements of set x one, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six are elements of set y, and one, two, three are elements of set x. Now can see here one and four, which is first step of the ladder. Two and five, which is second step of the ladder, and three and six, which is third step of the ladder from top. Now let's rewrite. This step into another form. You can write here one, four, then second step, two, five, then third step, three, six. Three, six. Dear students, this is known as a red pair. Now, I want to define a red pair. If we write any two numbers, any two mathematical objects or any two objects inside small bracket, separating by comma, that is known as a red pair. Now, you can see here. 5 and 7. We have two numbers. That is 5 and 7. From these two numbers, we have to make order pair. Okay? Now, 5, 7. Impose these two numbers by a small bracket, like this, and separate them by comma, like this. This is known as order pair. Now, but here, we have any two numbers, 8 and 10. Now, we have to make order pairs from these two numbers, from 8 and 10. 10. That is, just you have to include this number by small bracket and you have to put comma in here. 8 and 10. This is known as order pair. Now you can write mathematical object or any object to make order pair. You can write here RAM and hurry. This is also an example of order pair. They both have and one camera. This is an example of order pair. Students, you have to clear two concepts of order pair. You can see here, we have two numbers in here, 5 and 7. You can see here, 5 and 7 are two numbers. From these two numbers, we consider one order pair. You can see here, 5 is known as first, sorry, x component. You can say 5 is also first in 3 and antecedent. In same way, 7 is y component, 7 is y component. Then next, 5 first in 3, this one is second in 3. Then 5 is antecedent. Then 7 is constant. So, I here 5 x component, 5 first entry, and 5 also can be written as incident. Then 7 y component, 7 second entry, and second, sorry, 7 constant. Now, tell me 5 and 8, we have two numbers, 5 and 8. What is the x component of this order here? What is the x component of this order pair? Definitely fine. Then what is the y component of this order pair? That is A. Yes? Now, let's discuss about equal order pair. Which number is equal to 2? Equal with you. Which number is equal to 2? 2 is equal to 2. 2 is equal to 2. Which number is equal to 2? Yes, definitely. That is 2. Two sum equal n number. We get two. In equal order pair, we have two order pair A, B, and C, D. These two order pairs are said to be equal. In which condition? If x component of this first order pair, x component, which one is x component? A, 
x component of this first order pair must equal to x component of this order pair. That is, a must equal to c. And y component of this order pair, that is, b must equal to y component of second order pair. That is, b must equal to d. If two order pairs are said to be equal, two order pairs are said to be equal, if x component of first order pair must equal to x component of second order pair and y component of first order pair is equal to y component of second order pair and that condition to order pairs are said to be equal. We can see here 5, 2 and in other also 5, 2. You understand? 5, 2, first order pair and second order pair also 5, 2. Can you say that these two order pairs are equal? Yes, definitely. Y x component 5 and x component 5. X component of first order pair equals to x component of second order pair. And similarly, y component of first order pair equals to y component of second order pair. Yes, that's why these two order pairs are equal. That's why these two order pairs are equal. Now, let's see another example. 5, 3, and 3, 5. Let's see here. We have another two order pairs. 5, 3, and 3, 5. You know stop? 5, 3, and 3, 5. Do you have a pair, sir? You know stop? You want to be equal, sir? Yes, we will have a short pair. 5. But, yes, we will have a second order pair. Yes, 3. 5, sir, and 3 equal, sir? No. That's why these order pairs are not equal. Now, let's say another example. 2 plus 1. 5. Then 3, 2 plus 3. Can see another example again. Can see 2 plus 1, x component, 5, y component, and 3, x component, 2 plus 3, y component. Now, let's simplify. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, then 5, x component 3, y component 5. Now, in second order pair, x component 3, y component, 2 plus 3, 5. Let's see here, x component of first order pair, x component of first order pair 3 is equal to 3, and y component of first order pair equals to y component of second order pair. Yes? So, 2 plus 1, 5, and 3, 2 plus 3 are equal order pair. Are you clear about equal order pairs? Now, Okay, so you can see here some examples or some question. We have to determine the equal order pairs from the this question. We have to determine equal order pairs from this question and also you have to give a reason why they are equal or why they are not equal. Understood? You have to recognize that these order pairs are equal or not. If yes, why they are equal or if not, why they are not equal. Let's see, first example. You can see here. 1, 2, which is first order pair, and 1, 2, which is second order pair. Just remember that. If two, two order pairs are said to be equal, A, x component of first order pair must equal to x component of second order pair. Yes? x component of first order pair must equal to x component of second order pair. In the same way, y component of first order pair must equal to y component of second order pair. Because here, we have two order pairs. 1, 2, and 1, 2. What is the x component of the order pair? What is the x component of this order pair? 1. Then, this must equal to this. That is, x component of first order pair, 1. And x component of second order pair is also 1. x component and x component are equal. Now, we have to check whether y component are equal or not. In case of the y component equal to the China. Let's see. y component of first order pair, which is 2. And y component of second order pair, which is also 2. That is, x component and y component of first order pair is equal to x component and y component of second order pair. That means these two order pairs are equal. Yes? Now, second question. You can see here PQ, first order pair, QP, second order pair. What is the x component of first order pair? P. Then what is the y component of this order pair? Q. Now, what is the x component of this order pair? And second order pair? Q. Then what is the x y component of this order pair? That is P. Now, 
इक्वल दिस टू ऑर्डर में पी एंड क्यू गैट्स होम पॉइंट क्यू एंड पी कैसे दैट पी एंड क्यू एंड दैट इस पी डॉसन इक्वल्स टू क्यू एंड एक्स होम पॉइंट डॉसन इक्वल्स टू एक्स होम पॉइंट एंड वाई होम पॉइंट डॉसन इक्वल्स टू वाई होम पॉइंट दैट इस क्यू डॉसन इक्वल्स टू पी सो दिस टू ऑर्डर पीयर्स एंड नॉट इक्वल क्लियर नाउ और क्वेश्चन सेवेन माइनस वन एक्स होम पॉइंट फोर प्लस थ्री फोर प्लस थ्री Yes, Y component. Then three plus three. Which component? Yes, X yes, component. First three three are antecedent. Then eight minus one, which is Y component. Yes. Now let's say X component and X component are equal or not? Seven minus one, that is six. Then three plus three, six. Now let's say Y component. Four plus three, seven. Yes. Then eight. Minus one, nine yes, no seven. So x component equals to x component and y component equals to y component. That means x component of first order pair equals to x component of second order pair, and y component of first order pair equals to y component of second order pair. That is, you can say that six seven is equals to six seven. So seven minus one. Four plus three and three plus three is minus one are equal or equal. Now we have last question in here. Now let's check. Six divided by twenty five and three fifteen divided by three. Now we have to check these two or equal are equal or not. Okay, six divided by two, three and y component five. Then we have another three. And 15 divided by 3 also 5. Now it's not. The x component 3 and the x component also 3. That is, these two numbers are equal. Yes. The y component 5 and the y component 5. That is, the x component of first order pair equals to the x component of second order pair. In same way, y component of first order pair equals to y component of second order pair. That means you can see that 6 divided by 3 and 5. 6 divided by Sorry, six divided by two, five, and three, fifteen divided by three are equal up here. Now, let's see one last example. Example number e. Okay, minus five plus two and three. Then another example. Three and three. One last question. Your very equal sign, sir. No. Let's see. Okay. Now, and see here. Minus five plus two. Minus five plus two. That is three s. That is three s. No. That is minus three. And three. Then we have another word here. Three and three. Now, sir. Let's see here. Elements of first order pair: x component minus three, y component three. x component three, y component also three. Now, minus three is equal to three s. x component three is equal to sorry, x component minus three equals to three s. No, minus three doesn't equal to three. That means x component doesn't equal. Now, sir, let's try to check y component is equal or not. So, consider that. Minus five plus two, three. First order pair, then three, three. Second order pair as not equal. Okay. Clear? If x y is equals to to five. Students, we have one question in here. If these two order pairs are equal, then find out the value of x and y. Okay. If this two order pairs, x y is equals to two five. Where you have one two order pairs in here, x y first order pair is equals to two five. Second order pair, then you have to find out the value of x and y from these two order pairs. Can you solve? Let's see. By the definition of equal order pair, yes. Can I hear? 
x component if these two order pairs are equal if these two order pairs are equal then first entry or x component of this order pair this order pair must equal to the x component of this order pair yes x component of this first order pair must equal to x component of this order pair what is the x component of this order pair definitely x then what is the x component of this order pair what right two so you can write here x is equal to 2. Understood? Then y component of first order pair. That is y. Must equal to y component of second order pair. That is 5. So you can write here y is equal to 5. And last you can write. Therefore, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 5. Cancel like this. Now let's see another example. This is related to this question. Next one. X plus Y and Y is equal to 2, 5. You have given two order pairs and they are equal. From this condition, you have to find out the value of X and Y. Can you solve? Yes, let's see. Solution Y, the definition of Definition of equal order pair pair the x component must be equal to first x component of first order pair must be equal to x component of second order pair. So you can write here x plus y, which is the x component of first order pair, must be equal to x component of second order pair, that is 2. x plus y is equal to 2. Yes? Then y component of first order pair y is equal to y component of second order pair or second entry first second entry of first order pair equals to second entry of second order pair that is or y is equal to 5 now y is 5 we know the value of y now we have to find out the value of x from here we have two values x and y if we substitute the value of y from here if we substitute the value of y from here, then we will get the value of x. Yes. So, right here, x plus. What is the value of y? We know. From here, value of y is equal to 5. x plus 5 is equal to 2. That is, x is equal to 2 minus 5. Then, x is equal to minus 3. Plus, we can write here, therefore, x is equal to, what is the value of x? Oh, I say, minus 3. Minus 3 and y is equal to 5. This one can solve like this equal order pair. Next one in this video, we discuss about order pair and equal order pair. Now let's recall uh, order pair. If we write two objects to represent the one that is known as order pair, yes? If we write two objects, two mathematical objects, or two number to represent one is known as order pair. We have to write two number like this. 5, 7, inside small bracket and separate them by comma. That is known as order pair. Now, in here, 5 is known as x component, 7 is known as y component. Yes? In next part, we discuss about equal order pair. I hope you all are clear about this. If you have any confusion, you can contact me on social media. You know what's my name? Okay? This was your watching great TV. So, for more video, subscribe our channel. Thank you.